All right, so today I have my radio that I use. This is a QX7, and I have Crossfire on it. Now, I want to go over setting a timer on this radio. Now, I have the timer set up in uh, a couple ways. It's a 2 minute and 30 second timer. This timer starts counting down when I have the throttle above zero. It will also stop counting when I have the throttle down. I can reset the timer when I have that switch pressed. And then also the timer will re automatically reset when I unplug my battery. That way, when I plug in the new battery, if I forget to reset my timer, um, I'll never have an issue because it would have automatically reset when I plugged in my, when I unplugged my battery. Okay, so that may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing, but for me, it works really, really well. All right, so let's dive in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press the menu button, press the page. We're on page two. You're going to want to set this timer to TS THS. And for me, I run 4S on 2700 KV and I land safely ba at basically at storage voltage with two minutes and 30 second timer. Um, and I like these settings, persistent off. I don't need the minute warning because I don't really care about that. Um, and then I like the countdown voice. I think it'll tell you like 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and then it'll start counting down for you. So I don't need the minute warning. So next thing we're going to do is go on over to page, I believe it is 10. Okay, so you're going to want to start with page 10. This is the first thing you want to do. Focus on this highlighted section. So we have SC minus, that's the switch. Okay. So the switch will reset the timer. Okay. So the easiest way to do this is you won't have anything here, but essentially all you have to do is press onto the column and flick the switch that you want to use. Okay. Then uh, scroll on over to the next column. It should say reset. So that's fine. It should say timer one, and then you're going to want to have a check mark. Okay. So I basically have a duplicate here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now we have our switch set to reset our timer. So that's easy. If that's all you want, then you're good to go. Now, if you want the ad additional feature of your timer resetting every time you unplug the quad, then first thing you're going to want to do is go on to the next available special functions row and have this set to L01 reset timer check mark. Now, L01 is referring to a specific equation okay so you can manage that equation by going backwards to page 9 and you could do that quickly by just holding the page button now we're in logical switches so let's go into the first one L01 you're gonna want to edit that okay function a equals X just think of this as a and then v2 is X so link quality equals 0 Okay, and then we have and switch L02. So not only do does my link quality need to be zero because that's what happens when you unplug the quad, right? Your link quality goes down to zero. I also made it so that it checks what the second formula I have is set to. Now the second formula L02 is A is less than X. So switch, which is this switch here. Okay, and you can also set that with this by just moving the switch and having it selected is less than minus 99. Now this value might change for you depending on how you have your switch set up, but that's how I have mine set up so it works for me. So when we go back, both L1, L01 and L02 need to be true in order for my timer to reset. Now, hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, if you have additional questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll probably have some time to fly this weekend, so you should see some more content, and I'll catch you guys later.